In San Benito County, for example, neighbors flooded downtown Hollister for the annual Veterans Day Parade. That's where we find Action News reporter Sierra Starks with tonight's top story. Yeah, good evening, Christopher. So when it comes to just how much this Veterans Day Parade has grown in Hollister, 10 years ago, 19 groups were signed up to participate, and this year there were 52. And this is a big deal in Hollister, and uh, this is where you should be. A special salute to our country's service members. I spent 26 years in the Army. Past and present. You know, we have our freedom and everything because of the vets, and, uh, you know, they give an awful lot, and the least we can do is, is come here and uh, show our appreciation. Each year, organizers say the Veterans Day Parade in Hollister has gotten bigger and better. Everybody comes. Today's a special day for us. And these neighbors agree that's a reflection of the pride this community has for its local vets. With uh, the leadership that we have now with the VFW and the American Legion, they seem to be recognized uh, the veterans a lot more than they used to. Veterans like Dolly Devossier, who served during the Korean War. In 1952 and 1953, I, um, I had dropped out of nursing school to join the Air Force. At this year's parade, she was a grand marshal. I didn't know it was going to be so much rigmarole, but but I said yes to just wave to people. <laughs> but when it comes to supporting her fellow veterans, she says she's always happy to lend a hand. And that's really helping the young, younger generation. And so that's what we're doing going forward and teaching the people that do not know what it's all about, that veterans are very important. Now, part of today's Veterans Day celebration in Hollister was the hanging of these uh, banners above me, and they thank local servicemen and women for their brave service to our country. Reporting live in Hollister, Sierra Starks, KSBW Action News 8.